friends, I am Tinash. In this video, we will learn about the automation in your clipboard commands and subcommands with multiple examples, live examples. In task editor, you can see the clipboard commands, that command. When you expand the clipboard command, there is three commands, clear clipboard, assign to clipboard, then the assign from clipboard. There are three subcommands. Uh, we will see one by one. So first you should know what is the clipboard functionality. The clipboard is one of the application. So I will show you in the Excel. So in the Excel, whenever you are trying to copy something, so when you copy it, so now I have copied, the copied data has been stored in the clipboard application. Though so in the back end, there is a clipboard applications are there. The copied value has been stored in the clipboard. When you are trying to paste from the clipboard only, it is pasted in the values. In the cell, directly pasted from the clipboard. It is not directly pasted. So you should know the concept first. Then only you can apply all the formulas here. So whenever I am copying, so the copied value has been stored in the clipboard application. Then whenever I am trying to paste, it will be directly pulling from the clipboard application. That is how the clipboard is working. And in my next videos, I will try to cover the other commands like database, Excel, e X email automation, error handling, files and folders. Everything I will try to cover within few days. So please subscribe my channel, keep in touch with me and please like and watch all the videos. And already I have uploaded few videos about automation in recorders, basics and the interview question and answers and the comments and subcomments overview as well as the installation procedures for task editor community edition and the other versions and the certifications as well as the other programming languages like HTML, CSN, JavaScript, VBScript, Python as well as the Excel VBA and the Excel formulas. So when you have a chance, please watch all the videos, like and subscribe my channel. So directly jump into the clipboard functionality. So first, what is the clipboard? The Windows clipboard is a very common application and it's used for a wide variety of purposes. So whenever you are copying the text from anything, the text to the clipboard, for example, uh, by using the control C function. So you can, then you can paste this in any other applications. So I already give you the examples. In the Excel, whenever you are copying the values, it gets stored in the backend clipboard applications. Then whenever you are pasting, it will be pulling from the clipboard applications, like how the clipboard functionality is working. So first you should know the clipboard functionality and there are three subcommands are there. First one is clear clipboard. So already I have copied one value. So I'll give you the example. So I have copied this value. So whenever I am pasting, here you can see in the clipboard, there is some values are there. So whenever I am using control V, the values are getting pasted. For that, now I need to clear the values in the clipboard so that now I am pasting the values, it start pasting since the clipboard is empty. Like this, you need to clear the clipboard. It's necessary since you know if you are using the keystrokes or any other functions, there is a possibility to paste some other values, incorrect values. So some of the times you need to clear the clipboard commands. Then next one is assign to clipboard. So you should know that what is the assign to clipboard. So the assign to clipboard is nothing but, so you click on control C, right? So when you click on control C, the values are assigned to the clipboard, right? So currently the range B2 values are assigned to the Tinash Canon. Text has been assigned to the clipboard. Use this command to assign the value of like, you know, any text or any other variables, any other things you can assign this to clipboard then future you can use it then the assign from clipboard so the assign from clipboard is nothing but already if you have any values or any variables in the clipboard you can assign the clipboard variables to any other variables like uh, here you have copied the text right so in the clipboard there is a text like Tinash Canon already available in the clipboard if you want to assign this to any other variables, you need to use the assign from clipboard command so that 
the values of clipboard command has been assigned to any other variables, then you can reuse the clipboard for any other functions. So I will show you the live examples for that. For that, first I will show you how to assign the variable, assign the variable to clipboard. For that, I will create one more variable called as variable 1. So I am going to assign the va variable to clipboard. So I am giving the name as variable 1, then I will update the name as Tinash Kanan 123. Okay, 1, 2, 3, please sub, subscribe my channel. Okay. Everything is important, so I have updated. So I have saved, I have created one more variable. So what happening is, the variables are, uh, already I have a variable, variable 1, values are Tinashkan 123, please subscribe my channel. So this is a system, def so user defined variable. I am going to assign this variable to clipboard. So it is a user created variable. I am going to assign this to the clipboard variable. So clipboard is one of the system variable. So in the variable manager you can see that there is a system variables. So system variables, there is a clipboard variables available in the system variables. The clipboard is one of the system variable. So it is already available in the system. So I am going to assign the user created variable one values to the clipboard now. For that, just I need to expand the clipboard, then assign to clipboard. So once you click on assign to clipboard, then just you need to select your variable. So here I need to select my user defined variable, variable one. So once I have done this variable, like this values for the variable 1 I have declared Tinash 1 2 3, Tinash 1 2 3 please subscribe my channel. So this particular value has been assigned into the message box sorry it's clipboard. So in order to show you I am assigning the, I am showing the values in the message box. So in the second comment you can see that please enter the message to show the user. Here is that assign to clipboard is the text and clipboard command using the F2. I am showing the clipboard over here. In the message box, I am showing the clipboard right now. So I will show you, I will save this task. I will run this one. So you can understand. First the clip clipboard is empty, then I am assigning the Tinash123 values to the clipboard. So currently you can see the clipboard value is Tinashkanan123, please subscribe my channel. My variable has been assigned into the particular clipboards. Now that I have cleared the clipboard. So next we will see about assigned from clipboard. So you should know assigned from clipboard to any other variables. Already we have saw that now assigned to clipboard and next assigned from clipboard. So already we have a Tinash Kanan 123 some values are available in the clipboard right. So I am assigning this to other variable. So I have a user created variable now just now I have created one more variable assigned from clipboard without the values. So the values are empty, I am going to assign from the clipboard to this variable. So the currently the clipboard has particular text, Tinashkan 123, please subscribe my channel. So I am going to assign this into the message box. So here is that, in the message box you can see that I am showing the particular variable, assign from clipboard variable. Using this, you can see the particular comments. So I'll run this task for this assign from clipboard. So first, what will happen is the values are assigned to clipboard. Tinashkan one two three will assign to the clipboard. Then the from the clipboard, the values are assigning to 
other variables so first it's assigning to the clipboard here you can see in the message box itself you can see assign to clipboard but it's assigned to the clipboard next assigning from the clipboard from the clipboard it's assigning to another vari variables like i have user created variable assign from clipboard already there so it's assigned from the clipboard done everything is done then the final command of clear clipboard so once you have done everything you need to clear the clipboard since you may use to there is a possibility to use the clipboard for any other functions so in the task yeah there is a possibilities you know multiple times you need to use the clipboard at the time you need to clear the clipboard once you assign from or assign to you need to clear the clipboard once all the action has been completed please ensure to clear the clipboards then only you can avoid the you can avoid and ensure to uh, avoid the any other errors that's the reasons we are clearing the clipboards in order to clear the clipboard you don't need to update anything just you need to use the clear clipboard function so just drag and drop the clear clipboard and save that's it here there is no sub commands just you need to select the clear clipboard and click on save that's it so in the first line there is assign to variable command and the second line assign from variable clipboard variable so until sixth line you can see there is a variables uh, has clipboard variable has some values right so in the eighth line i am clearing all the values from the clipboard so in the ninth line i am showing the message box into the clipboard so here you can see the clipboard values are should be empty here is the proof of that so i'll run this task first the our variable has been assigned to the clipboard then the clipboard variable has been assigned to some other values then the final yeah here you can see then clear clipboard has been done so in the clear clipboard hyphen 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 then the values are empty which means our current clipboard is empty i'll show you i'll paste the values in the excel here you can see i'm trying to paste but there is no clipboard values so it's empty like this we can use multiple times for the clipboards so please practice and really thanks for your time thanks for watching my video please subscribe thank you bye bye